Well, tally-ho, my merry band of monarchists. How have you been? Yeah, what time do I need to wait for? Course 12. Okay, so we're going to put it at 12.50, why not? But, yeah. No, I really, something I really just, in general, don't like about... Uh, like, whenever I was a kid, money wasn't, isn't, wasn't an issue, right? Technically, for me, at the moment, I mean, I'm in college, money's not really an issue. Like... I mean, I saved up a ton of money during high school and, like, my first few years at, like, community college, so, like, I'm pretty much good without having to work for a while. But it's just, because I saved up a good little chunk of money to use while I was in college. So I was like, I'm going to be in, like, university far away from everything I've ever known. But apparently, yeah. College is, I don't get it. I really don't. People, like, say they go into debt into colleges. Like, what colleges are you people going to? Like, really? Like, I'm in one of the better colleges in my state. Right? And... My family is far from high class, let me tell you that much. Which might sound... Oh, mythical. Double. Wow, that is... Okay, you know what? Who's bigger out of the two of you? We got... 168? It says 188. Whoa. Oh, I can't. This is my problem with Parque Fernando. It's just too much. Like, really. Oh yeah, but anyway, I was ranting about uh, money. Like, I've saved up enough for myself to really not have to worry about it in college, in university at least, right? But it's still like, oh. It's like, I've kind of taught myself to be as stingy as I can be with my money. Yeah, but I can't see him, so I'm gonna have to just really go off a blind luck. Did I hit him? I'm gonna be really mad if I hit a tree. Or like hit the other one's ant I mean horn. It's gonna really bug me if that's the case and I didn't manage to hit that thing. But, yeah, anyway. There are like two things that I want to currently purchase, right? So, 
slow. I really messed that up. Oh, I've just been invited to a party by a King Bob. Sorry, Bob, but I am about to go into a rant about economy and money and stuff. I don't think you want to hear about that. Oh. Hard. Medium. Hard. Hmm. Oh. Hey, buddy. Oh. You are a mythical. A man after my own heart, hey? Okay, that's how you do it. That's how you track a bullet. Or trace, I don't know. But yeah, there are two things I currently want to buy. But, here's where the problem is. I have basically forced myself to get physically ill at the thought of spending my money. Wait. I thought would be like an amazing like money saving skill. It is well, I mean considering the fact that I don't really need to worry about like money, at least for video games that I spend, especially if they're games that I like I know I'd play for a while. Which hey, play. Ma, any of my family who's watching this, get ready, I'm about to actually say a swear word. Sorry, I apologize, but, <laughs> you know. But the two things I want to buy currently is the map bundle, which is currently on, I mean, for Way of the Hunter, which is $20, right? But here's the thing. All three maps alone are over 30. Which means that's a pretty decent deal right there, right? I know. It's really tempting and I want to get it because it also has one of my favorite things to hunt in the in hunting games. Bison. It also has like New Zealand, which I think has its own animals and stuff. Like, it's so cool. But I don't want to spend money on it. Yeah, but I just don't want to spend money on it. Even though I want it. And the second one, also, warning, warning for profanity, I'd recommend skipping, like, the next five minutes just to be safe. Legendary. Is the blood Irish track? Because I know it's nearby. I know that much. And yes, you might be wondering. We just saw a legendary, and you're gonna like go wait until we can, you know, see it again. I was thinking that, but we only spooked him. The entire rest of the herd is still there. Meaning, all we have to do is kind of just sit and wait, and chances are he's going to come back. Okay, a nice gold. First shot, not too good. Second shot was real nice. But yeah, that is a legendary 
water buffalo, I think. I don't know. Pack already, I see. Well, I'm not gonna judge. It's good to see you, buddy. Oh, you can actually... You're coming all the way down to the water's edge, eh? Can I give you credit? You're going right to the point I wouldn't want you to be at. This might be our second diamond alert. Okay, we got him. We might have been a little high, but he didn't instantly drop. And his health bar is ticking instead of just going. Duh, duh, duh. So I'm gonna guess we got him. Oh yeah, I forgot. I was gonna swear the game is hell let loose. Yeah, sorry for teasing y'all, but yeah. Uh, I really want that game because I've seen so many good things, and apparently it came out a few years ago, and it was pretty small, right? But apparently, as of late, it's gotten like uber popular. And when I say Uber, I mean Uber Duber. Like, it's jumped from only a couple hundred players to thousands regularly. And I don't mean it jumps like up and then down from like a hundred to a thousand. No, it's like, I think its rating is almost, if not, <coughs> hmm. Oh. Have you guys ever had one of those like coughs or sneezes when you're like kind of bent over so it like crushes your ribs? Oh, that was. Oh, I think that's some blood right there. Yeah, but yeah. It looks so cool. Like, it looks like Battlefield, but an actual, realistic game. Like, that is what I've always wanted out of a, a war game like that. Like, the only things I've ever wanted out of war games are... Hey, cool, you are... Oh, really? Was... Y'all see that, huh? <sighs> <sighs> hmm. Hmm. I think I might just start a water buffalo grind just because of that. Hearing about one, I can hit that. Yeah, it was you I hit. But yeah, it looks really cool. It's less than $50, which is pretty rare for games nowadays. I mean, to be fair, it's not new. It might as well be with how it jumped, it sky, its popularity skyrocketed. It was like, the first thing I ever saw about that game was, huh, people are playing this game again? I thought nobody played it at all. And it was like, yeah, people play it sometimes. And then, like, every couple of days after...
after that, I just kept seeing more and more, like, information about it. And, like, to the point where, like, it's just crazy. Like, it had, a, like, a proper popularity boost. And, oh, it's beautiful. Like, it's actually, like, depicting the horrors of war that I've honestly only seen in, like... What are they called? Console? No, this is a console. PC games. Like, games that are specially tailored who facilitate that kind of play, that kind of play style. And this is the first time I've seen this on something like this, and it is amazing. And it's just like, oh, maybe? Here's my thought on this. Maybe? Come next month, if the popularity is still good, if I'm still seeing lots of things about it, then maybe, maybe, not going to guarantee it just yet, but I'm going to say maybe I'll buy it. Because I also plan to try and figure out, and I'm saying try because y'all know how bad I am with everything, really. Oh yeah, fun little side piece of information, my last grade on ornithology. I know, sorry, I, I can't really do the ornithology things for you. It's ten minutes per ten questions. Like... I'm not good on times. Like, like if, like I'm looking forward to his exam because I really like the class. Like I'm learning a lot of stuff. It's just I crack under the pressure of such a short time frame. You know. Like I go from being decent at things. Like you guys have probably seen it. Whenever it, like whenever a game puts me on a timer, I just start struggling. That's how I am with most things that are, like, time-based. Like, if someone tells me to get this done, easy-peasy, lemon-squeezy, tell me to get it done in this certain amount of short time, uh-oh, that is not oakley dokley Like, it's just a different mindset. That's the thing, I work pretty decent under pressure, right? Like... I think I can do pretty well. I think I do pretty well. But... I'm just not, like, for that kind of advancement. Oh, hello. The hard... Easy... <clears throat> Sorry for not sounding as, like, cool as I normally do, it's just, like, I don't know. My voice has just been off today. After I had to ask, like, a question to a professor, I don't know, my voice, like, cracked in the middle of it, and I kind of, like, lost a lot of confidence from that. Because th that was the first time I've ever actually spoken to that professor. And what happens... My voice cracks. That's embarrassing. Like, that is the first time I've actually, like, gone out of my way in that class to, like, ask a question. And I butcher it. Oh, hello, you. Look nice. I don't know. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh, you already died. I guess they might have went around a circle. I guess. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I guess he did. He died on his way over here to me. 
If you made it just a little bit closer, I would have thanked you for actually, like, trying to save me time before you died. It's a shame. You're not even a gold. Ooh, you look kind of big. You're smaller than he is. Okay. Okay, these water buffalo are just confusing. Like, some of these things look big and cool, and then it's like, oh, huh? guess I was wrong. Ah, clean. Uh-oh. Oh, you're traveling calmly. Would you just mind, like, turning around again? No. Y'all all gonna stay right there? Well, I mean, I guess I can go for that medium. <sighs> okay. Not from the bush. Okie dokie. Oh? You're coming back? I'll wait for you. I don't mind. Huh? Who are you? A miner. Oh, a duck. I can't spot- oh. Hey, I spotted you, you nerd. Who are you? Why are you so red? Oh, see, why is it red? I mean, I'm not gonna argue. Red is my favorite color, but that's a bright red duck. Um, uh. I'm gonna be real honest, I don't know where this large is supposed to even be. They look kinda dark compared to everyone else. Are you melanistic? I think he's the heart and I'm not gonna get a chance to shoot at him, so... Might as well shoot at the one that might possibly be a rare skin. Yeah, no, you ain't running for me. Told you. But, yeah. I've grown to be really, like, clench fist with my money. Like a monkey in a termite colony, right? Like, you get, I get my hand on my money, and I find it extremely difficult to let go. Like, even if it's something that I really want and I know I'm going to use and enjoy, it's still hard for me to part with it. Like, I mean, honestly, it feels like it's easier to spend my money on someone other than myself, because it's like, I mean, for like my family. So, uh, yeah. No one tried to, like, message or comment, like, Hey, I'm free. No, no, no. Because that is one of my favorite things, because I'm fairly active on, like, a few online sources for, like, some of the games I play, like this one, and Way of the Hunt. I'm, I actually do enjoy, like, spending a little bit of time there helping people. I hit one there. Oh, yeah, I did. I remember. I remember. <laughs> but, yeah. I like to spend some of my time helping people who aren't, like, as good as games or as I am, or, I know, hard to believe there are people like that. Or, like, uh, people, I mean, to be fair, 
I've at least played these games enough to, like, understand some of the things in them. Right? Like, I might not be the best marksman on this game, but at least I know some of the stuff of what I'm doing. So, if I get the chance to, like, instill some of that knowledge onto, like, even if it's, like, just a kid who just picked up the game and wants to give it a try, or, like, an older person who just hasn't, doesn't have enough time. Oh, you're just black. Eh. Just a waste of time. But, yeah, I like to help, even if it's just, like, someone who's never played or someone who just doesn't have enough time to really get into the knowledge of the game. I like to help. Which... Yeah. Doing that, you also find either bots or people who are just stupid. Like... I was helping with a group of online D&D, right? And this one person, an artist apparently, not like my profile doesn't show some of the art I've actually worked on for D&D, no. I mean, it does, but it's like, hey, guess I'm just going to ignore that. Which I think is just kind of funny. Like, really. But anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where was I? Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember, I remember. But basically, it was like... Okay, so, get this. It was like, hey, so I see you like Dungeons and Dragons? Yes. Why? Well, I just happen to be an artist, and I can make all your ideas come true. You know I'm flat broke, right? Like, you ain't getting the dime out of me. I don't know if they shut up because that was rude. Or if that just happened to be like, oh, I guess I don't have to spend my time here no more. I don't know, like, what it was. I like to think it was the, oh, it caught on to me that quick. Ooh, guess I ought to skadoodle. I want to think it's that, even though I know it's probably just like, hmm, a bummer, and going, or it could have even just been rude, I don't know. I mean, to be fair, in my opinion, if you approach someone and try and, like, advertise your own services, like, I can understand if it's, like, free things, like doing charity work, yada, yada, yada. But if you, like, go up to someone even in an online space, and you just start saying, like, hey, pay me and I'll do stuff for you, even though you have no idea if I'm being truthful, if I'm a scammer, or some other stuff like that. Like, I have no credible source. I'm on a place with a large variety of people who are either inexperienced in technology, technology or people who are too young to know about such things. Hmm. Can't even see you. And it's like, what do, you, what do you think you're trying to do? Are you trying to, like, just scam people? Or is it like, what? I don't know. Maybe that's just my extra... Extra, let me search this in, because like, I've always wondered, and I never can manage to remember whenever it's like, something I'm actually trying to think of. What? Wait, so you're saying this whole time I've been struggling to pronounce this stupid word of what I have, right? Which is Asperger's. And this whole time it's been called AD. 
Like, I know what AD is. I know kids from, like, high school, like, people I actually knew who had AD. And this is how I find out about it. Is by literally typing in what I know I have. To try and, like, figure out something that I always remember and forget to do. <laughs> hmm. Oh yeah, so you guys might have been wondering why I act the way I do sometimes. <laughs> you just got your answer. So if you guys took offense to any of the things I've said, uh, too bad I still mean them. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Well, I guess that's an answer, kind of. So, unlike autism, it's not a extra, but it's just an enlonged? That is... So you're saying there are people who are all funky in the head because they got one chromosome slightly longer than the others? Man, that's kind of dirty. Wow. It wasn't this episode about, like, going to be about me being mad. I mean, it's 30 minutes in, and I've been ranting the majority of the time, so I don't say that's a success. Uh, I think that one down there is supposed to be one. Let's go down there. See if we can't get one more. Still mad that one legendary wasn't a diamond. But hey, and that's now officially the second legendary that we've shot that wasn't a hard. That makes two of them. Because we've shot uh, one, two, three, four, four, only four total. I mean, I guess not everything goes up to Legendary. Apparently, Kangaroos, Red Deer, and the Water Buffalo do, though. Actually, I'm gonna be honest. I hate the whole idea of, like, some Legendaries not being Diamond. Like, they should be. Like, Very Hard is always, or almost always, Guaranteed gold. I mean, sure, I might be a little uptight considering we got a diamond in the last episode, and it would have been really cool to get a second diamond in this episode. Like, one after the other, that would have been amazing. But no. We were less than, what was it, like, point thirty off, I think? Point thirty, point twenty. it was somewhere in the decimals. It was... Less than a singular point. Like. <sighs> you know, it just makes me mad. Upset, I guess. Yeah, anyway, back on the original topic of this video. I know, a long time. Hey buddy, you seem to be fleeing right to me. Yeah buddy, I see you. I mean, it says you're fleeing, but you're standing completely still. Are you glitched? No, you aren't. Should have taken the shot on you when I had the chance, huh? Mr. Puma. 
Good old Timon and Pumba. Yep, oh, you're now below the ground. You got lucky this time, buddy. Real lucky. Okay, anyway. Yeah, lucky that I decided to test to make sure you weren't glitched. Turns out he wasn't. Lovely. I guess it's their feeding time, because they're around eating things. Get a hard mythical, okay. Oh. Another mythical. Oh, hello. Can you like not? You get it, maybe you don't like me much. You're really gonna make me waste a bullet on you, huh? Stop it. <gasps> there. You're still aggressive. You are the first thing that has stayed aggressive after I've shot you. Don't you... I really hate you, you know? Because I'm assuming, considering I was probably within 100 and... You're all still there. Sure, the one I'd want to shoot is leaving, but... You know, hey, it's better than they all ran away the second I took that shot. Really? Okay, Mr. Mythical Morning. Let's give you a nice, lovely show. Don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare. Okay, lovely. Okay, you know what? I think we might even get a chance to shoot at you. He really just did that, huh? Dude, move your dump truck. Sweet. Did I get vitals? Yes, I did. Lovely. Double vitals. I am now also on incredibly low health. But as long as nothing decides to charge at us, we should be able to get both of them just fine. Which they should be golds, I assume. Very small chance of being diamond. Yeah, they should be guaranteed gold. I'm kind of scared of that. If one of those things comes at me... And I'm not prepared. I'm dead. Like, I will not have enough time to respond to them. 
even if it's just them like retreating from me. Ooh, a nice gold. Double lunk, you're sweet. But yeah. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah. In terms of money, I got plenty I can use. I mean, to be fair, a part of me doesn't want to use my money until like after I'm done with college and all that, just so I don't have to like. So, like, in case I need to do stuff, like, once I'm done, I can rely on that for a while. But then the other part of me is like, but, come on. K-Room now. Buddy. Me. Literally me. You want this. Your enjoyment is a very valid reason to spend money. Why are you hesitating so much for something you want and you know you're going to enjoy if you get it? Oh, hello, darling. You're at a 300? Sorry, I had to. I'm pretty sure level 4 is the highest the those things get. Oh, where's your blood? Okay, fine. Irish track it. Thank you, buddy. How did I get off of the blood trail? I don't know. Okay, it's dead. Now, the question is, did it hit the water, and is it going to float to me? Or am I going to have to go over there and find its dead body? No clue. He could be a diamond muley. Which would be so nice. And that would also kind of, you know, fix the problem from earlier in the episode. But, yeah. It's, like, it's an internal struggle, I guess. Like, uh, what is it? Pathos and Logos? Or Ethos, I think. Where it's like, man versus self, I think. Because it's like, I want this. I want it. I know I want it. But it's like, I can't bring myself to do it. You know? It's just a feeling where it's like, you really want to do something. But you've done something so much that doing what you want to do is like, ugh, sickening. Like, it makes you shiver. Is that actually? I think that's him right there. Yeah, let's just... I, I don't even need to. I'm just going to walk around until I get there. I ain't that far. I might be that far. You know, we're going to be walking for a while. Yeah, it's just kind of like a... Oh, kind of feeling. Like... I mean, luckily, I do intend to start a series over me playing Hearts of Iron don't know how long those episodes can be, because I haven't even checked to see what kind of thing I'd be using to record on that thing, which I use a Mac to play that game. It works. To say the very least. Does it lag? Surprisingly not that much. But it's like... It's not the easiest to use, like, it's not bad, it works really well, it plays the game pretty well, at least up until the later years, but up until that point it's like the whole thing of like, yeah, instead of playing on like a mouse, you're playing with, oh? 
instead of playing with a mouse, you're playing with a slidey slide, like like going back and forth. It's so weird to do because it's like every single computer class I have ever been in uses mouse. But the only like computers I've actually had to like use in my life, like the major computers I've used, have all been with like the slidey pad, which I hate because it's like, like I don't know how to explain it. Like with the mouse, you can just like zip, 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 and click. You can right click. You can do everything you want. But this thing, having to like tap, press it down with two fingers while I tap, and try to like, like on Hearts of Iron, for example, to draw a offensive line, you have to click on your army, then you gotta right click and drag. For a mouse, no problem at all. It's easy peasy. Just click on where you want it and just go down. That's it. But. Okay, we're finally here. Where did I shoot you, buddy? No clue. Oh, there you are. But yeah, it's like, it's so annoying to have to, like, my cousin. He's busted up his computer, like, and here's the thing you need to keep in mind. He's got, like, a fancy, actual, like, desktop computer that runs things spectacularly well. Oh, you're just gold. At least you weren't super crazy close to being diamond like the last one was. But yeah, he has a great computer, right? Or had, he's kind of destroyed it because he's downloaded so many mods for Minecraft now, I assume you guys know how like Minecraft mods normally work they're pretty like cheap and they take up a lot of room they're real glitchy and they aren't really um, let's say they aren't too pro unprone to being like Malware of some kind. So he's basically destroyed his computer by using Minecraft. And every time I think about that, I'm just thinking, how do you manage that? You got... Hello. Oh. Guess that freed one of you up, eh? Don't try and get away from me, even though you're dead. It does not slide with me. What are you doing? That's what you're supposed to do. If someone shoots at you, you run. You don't just walk gingerly away, you run. Especially for me. Like, you really think, in a game like this, if I was given, like, full permission to kill anything I saw, I would be a monster. Like, don't get me wrong, I mean... Mostly just because I would actually shoot, ev like, if I was given permission to shoot every single thing, like, a mass culling of animals. Oh, that would be so cool. Like, not because you're killing animals, no, because I assume you'd at least get some of the meat off of that. Like, just imagine how cool that would be, like... One day you go from meatless to having hundreds of pounds of meat. Like, really? It's awesome. Like, ah. 
And that's the thing. I don't really understand how people can dislike. I mean, I can kind of get disliking, like, the idea of hunting, just waiting to kill something. But really, the hunting comes in two parts, in my opinion. And if I ever have to, like, describe hunting to someone who doesn't know what it is, I know exactly what I will say. But that's kind of unlikely, because almost everyone at least knows what the concept of hunting is. Right? Basically, the first half is nature watching. You sit there, or you walk around, you enjoy the sights of nature. Even in this game, a large detail is just enjoying the looks of it. Like, I'm pretty sure that's what I did in Way of the Hunter, too. Like, I stopped so often to just look at the lovely, the loving serenity of the world that the developers of this game made. And the second half is shooting a cool gun at an animal. Because you can't say, if you give, like, if you somehow had a sentient animal, and you gave them a gun, you wouldn't, you, you would not be able to expect, hmm, he will not shoot others. No, it would. It would straight up go Rambo on other animals. You want to know why? Because... People are animals. We're stupid, we're loud, we're violent. That's just what we are. If people want to say they're good natured, sure, yeah, you're good natured. But everyone came down from being a caveman. Right? Like, ooga booga, we throw spear, we ooga booga, fire, ooh. Like, everyone came from that. Everyone came from the medieval period. The, for the crusades, for the blood, you know, all that. And that there are people... Red Deer. There are people who deny the inherent, like, deplorability of humanity through history. is just weird, because it's like... Yeah, I know what people have done. Like, people have done horrible things. And I'm not going to deny that. I know horrible things have happened. If you deny something happened, that, that that's that bad, you're just as bad as the person who's doing I mean, not, I'm not going to agree with that. I'm not going to say that. Because you can say, like, murderers are wrong or something, which is inherently right, right? But to say all murder is wrong is not right. Because let's be honest, there are, there are a few people who do deserve death. I'm not going to go into who I think does. Because that's not my place to try and implement who I think is deserving or not. Especially considering I know the majority of my audience, because I'm going to be honest with you. I saw that little, like, age pop-up whenever I was checking my thing the other day. And here's what I saw. The majority of my audience is 18 to 21. So, in my age range. The majority, that is. There were a few older... And a couple younger. But. I know. What was that? If a younger audience is watching this video. And I know they are. 
they aren't gonna put their actual age almost all the time. I know that because I never did. Because it was like, even for like games that are targeted specifically for children, for a younger audience, make it to where you have to be a certain age to actually use it. Like, even some social medias, I think, like, require a minimum age. Which, yeah, I totally agree with that. Like, like here's the thing. One of the things I use to, like, uh, help people online and get help, honestly, for some games is an app called Discord. I know there's a lot of stupid stuff that happens on there. I mean, any part of the internet is bound to have some idiots doing something. But there's this one bot I use on that app. Back whenever I was like actually like trying to help servers, I joined and all that by like informing them of cool things they could do. I don't really do that much anymore. Like I just help community, not the servers overall. Just because it's like easier, I guess. But yeah, there's this one called I think it was Yggdrasil. Basically, it allowed you to use it as a phone to call other servers that had the same bot. Which is pretty cool, right? Yeah, like, that's really neat. Like, you can't see being, oh, hey, I'm going to call some random server. You can't say that's not at least the tiniest bit interesting. So let's be honest, it is pretty cool. Huh. One mule deer. But yeah, the bare minimum requirement that that app, uh, website, whatever you use it as, Discord, requires you to be, is at the very least 13. Which... I still think that's way too young. I think at the bare minimum, it should be at least, like, 17. And you know what I saw when doing that? People pretending to be older. And it doesn't take much to trick a literal child, you know? All you gotta say is, yeah, bro, I'm like 10. And they're like, oh, no way, me too, yeah, let's go. It's like, sometimes you can just identify when someone's, like, joking with you and when they're going, like, Oh, really? Yeah, same. It's just, like, a way they message or respond, you know? It's just, how, like, how people have that sense for lying. Like, actually, it is almost the same thing. I just have way less in person. But anyway, I'm going to shut up and stop talking because I have two minutes left, and yeah. Anyway, thank you all for watching and listening to me rant like normal. If you guys actually do want to see content on profanity alert, excuse my French, on Hell Let Loose, please send a comment because, yeah. If I have people's confirmation that they want to see that, I will gladly get it. I mean, normally I won't, so like if you just start posting like random games, no, I'm not going to get those. But if it's like something that I want and I see people wanting it as well, I'll gladly do it. Same thing with like the bundle. If you want to see me hunting like bison on Way of the Hunter whatever they got in New Zealand, I think they got new animals, and lions and stuff, please tell me in the comments. I would love to do that. Especially with an out to not do... Okay, I'm, I'm almost out of time. I'm literally 20 seconds down. Bye.